as I was saying, um, retrospectives. Uh, some people like them, some people loathe them. Let's look at the advantages. Well, for dedicated agile practitioners like yourselves, I assume, and for software d development de delivery teams in general, um, retrospectives are really good to discover any problems, issues in the team and provide really good feedback loops for members of the team. You can resolve issues faster because they're highlighted if and people are honest and provide the feedback then we can get to the result quicker, sooner rather than later. So if there's a crucial uh, cr uh, problem or issue on the critical path, you can bet your bottom dollar or pound or euro that a product manager, project manager, would like to hear about that problem in week two rather than the penultimate or even ultimate week before going live or delivery. Hence, you can stop the assembly line. With really high caliber teams, you get really good bonding. People work well together. People see the benefit of delivering the product or software. And that's really great. And the disadvantage of retrospectives are, is that issues can drag. As you see in action items they can turn into forever action items that database that never gets uh, resolved or that test database with that test data uh, and also the issue of, of technical debt if you know what technical debt it can never be resolved in teams who have bad retrospectives or retrospectives where the communications are breaking down. You have, say, the same couple of people speaking up every week and the same number of people staying quiet every week. And I have had real experience of this kind of thing running a Scrum Master project. Uh, you need authority or uh, need the business to back you with authority for certain retrospectives. Having said that, software teams are different from hardware teams. Like the idea of retrospectives came from Toyota in Japan and other leading companies like Samsung, even in South Korea because the, the mentality and the culture in the Far East is there is this idea of group identity and thinking and being more, um, I would say, equitable and generous to authority or to companies or going and uh, with the team goal. In the Western society, we tend to love mavericks and individuals and that can be lead to toxicity so friction and drag and culture shift uh, 